Hi, everybody. I'm back from shop. I didn't start the vlog before. <laughs> well, anyway, let's see what I bought. All of this is designed to be fast food because I've got a lot to eat. Here's the broken coffee pot. I'm going to take off this plate to see if I can fix it. So, two coffees. I got chicken. Oh, you know those chicken strips. What are chicken breasts? Tenders? Bacon. I'm really hungry for egg salad and bacon sandwiches. Some of the brisket I like. And a ham steak. Some peas. Uh, the lightly salted and barbecue. My son's here this week, so he can have that. Uh, some Smart Balance. Some of the salads I like. Santa Fe, and I think this one's a uh, Cobb. And the Hillshire Italian dry salami one with Gouda and... I always, I guess all of them are that. One or two of the other ones. Some better cheddar for um, pig in the blankets. I got some Swiss Miss Rolls. Some honey buns. Some Cheez-Its. Milk. Eggs. Two of these. Yogurts. I don't know what kind. I have my glasses on. Some, for my son, uh, cheese dip breadsticks. Some crackers and cheese. Some bread. And this for the oh, brisket. And I also have some hamburgers. That are frozen. Well, let me put this away. Oh, this morning I couldn't even get out of bed. I swear. Took me two hours. Okay, three. Three and a half. I'm telling you, it's just, I'm twisted sisters today. <laughs> Moving the camera all over. I still just don't think you're straight. Yeah, yeah, you're straight. So anyway. I was laughing because you know there are really good things about my where the city I live in I went through a speed trap and it's double fine double fine and that's because every Monday they publish wherever the speed traps are gonna be <laughs> they're so polite here they're civil so if you get busted in a speed trap the judge goes I don't want to hear it and trust me my daughter can tell you all about it I think at one time she was one point away from losing her license. Shame on her with my grandchildren. Shame on her. Well, if I look like crap, I don't care. Like I said, I think it took me hours to get out of bed. Something about yesterday, I mean, it wasn't physically as exhausting as it was mentally. Um, and I'm at the, oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God, that I hit every year, which is called spring cleaning, and I need to start my yard. And oh my God, I mean, th the list is endless. I need to clean my car out. And it's like, you know, I just totally become overwhelmed where I shut down for a couple days until I can like go, okay, it's not that bad, Claude. You can do it. I swear, so I bought fast food. I should, I, I should just buy food. But my son is going to be here, so um, I need him to help me lift some stuff. And that's another nice thing about our, our, um, our city, is we have what is called spring cleanup, and you just put anything on the curve you want, and if you, and they take it. And if you think that they might not understand that you want these boxes thrown away, you know, that has junk in them, then you just put spring on them. And they take everything. And, they, you know, I think it's absolutely great because you don't have to, you know, pay any fees to go to the dump or anything. They do it for you. It's to help promote, you know, a tidy city. Like I said, it's, just, it's a little city. 
compared to. It's a little big city. Except they closed my favorite authentic Mexican restaurant. First it was big city burrito. I mean apparently nobody wants me to eat Mexican food. And down the down the street a ways there was this great great little Mexican restaurant. And um they served the greatest tacos. They were on steamed corn corn tortillas and they had chunks of meat in them, asada. You have to learn a few Mexican words because you don't want tongue. At least I don't. And then they just would put purple onion on them and cilantro. Oh, they're so good. And they come three in an order and I just would eat all three. Just pig down instantly. But they're gone. So I'm going to have to go on the hunt for a Mexican restaurant. An authentic, not American Mexican food, but real Mexican food. Oh, so let's see. I came up with a great one this weekend. I'm sure Susan will just die laughing when I say this. I want to grow up to be a makeup guru. I really do. I don't want the makeup. I mean, I take mascara. Maybe if YSL wants to send me the, the lip oil stuff that Mary Ellen loves, I'll take that. I just want the face products. I want the face products everybody gets. Tell them to send them to me. Just because I'm not big into wearing makeup doesn't mean that I don't want to take good care of my skin. It's like, hello, I want to have nice skin. Oh God, I'm scared to do whatever my daughter's going to do to me. <laughs> it may not happen real soon because she keeps forgetting to order the meals. Only every now and then she gets an order for it. She's, you know, Botox and Juvederm is her main um, thing she does. Let's see. So, um, I was asked the questions and I'll answer it. But I noticed, because see, I have five accounts that filter into one. So anytime anything happens on my YouTube account, I, I eventually read it. Um, and somebody said, why did you buy... You know, did I lose my earrings or what? No, I just don't like to wear good jewelry every day. It it's, stems from my grandmother gave me, and after she had died, um, for a degree I got. She gave me beautiful diamond earrings. And one got lost. To this day, none of us understand how it got lost. And since then, I'm very paranoid about nice earrings. Because uh, they were beautiful emerald cut. They were just perfect. But my grandma gave them to me. So I will buy dupes for... I actually had a dupe made for my engagement ring. Um, uh, it's just... So when I travel, I wouldn't actually wear. Because back then you could take stuff down and have them put it in a safe for you. But it wasn't like you had your room safes and stuff. You know, when I would travel a lot. So, you know, I just wear the fake diamond. <laughs> it's a common thing to have dupes made for your jewelry. It really is. It's very common. Um, especially, you know, on some. But anyway, I told Danny about it and he laughed hysterically. He says, well, no, you don't have to wear them whenever you don't want to, you know, wear your dupes. You know. <laughs> He said, I would have never known. Why are you telling me? And I said, well, because, you know, I just kind of got guilty about it. That I was trying to... It's just, you know, I don't mind wearing them for evening. But, you know, if I'm going to a picnic up in the mountains, I don't want to wear them. It's just me. It's just me. I'm crazy. So, let's see, so we're doing spring cleanup. I need to start the yard. See, I'm just, I, I, it's like I said, I am Twisted Sisters this week. Um, I just seem behind on everything. I mean, just totally behind. I don't know. So that's kind of like what's new with me. I'm boggled, boggle, boggle, boggle. That's it. 
I mean, other than I want to grow up to be a makeup guru. Um, it Well, it's nice to have aspirations in your life. So now, you know, <laughs> instead of being a scientist, I want to be a makeup guru. <laughs> it's very high on my list. No, I just want the face products, you know, that people get. It's like, I want, you know, I mean, they go out and buy nice clothes, purses, or whatever, and it's like, I'm not jealous. And then you bring me, <laughs> they get sent some jar of something. It's like, I want that. <laughs> I laugh at myself sometimes as to how ridiculous I can actually be. Ah. Oh. I'm telling you, I'm just exhausted today, and I just don't know why. I am. <laughs> it's like I j oh, and I've got to stop watching Criminal Mind. That's the thing, because, like, this guy was following me out of Walmart, and it's like, I'm instantly like, is he after me? I think I've watched too much Criminal Mind, because he just, well, why? And I could have just killed him with my purse. He was an old, frail guy. That's bad when, you know, these old hunched over frail guys are following you, quote, out of the store, or they're not. They're just walking out, and you want to kill them with your purse. <laughs> I think I've watched too much Criminal Minds. Honest guys, too much. So, on my list today, what am I doing? Probably nothing. If you want to, I, I'm going to go find the weed whacker and, because uh, it has been raining here so much. I think the grass is like that tall. Somewhere around there. Not lawn, lawnmower, it's weed whack time. And, um, I'm pretty scary with a weed whacker, I have to tell you, so. I will have to put on, I have these old pair of blue jeans that are really thick, and I put on tennis shoes, the only pair I own. I had a slip-on pair, but they were getting so, they were getting so gross last year, I threw them away, not realizing I just needed to wash them, so now I have to go to the only pair of tennis shoes I own, which are like, no, what are they called, the black and white ones that tie up um I don't know but I'll just go to those I'll probably just take the shoelaces out of them and wear them do you not like tie tie up shoes which I do avoid them but I'm gonna go for now um and see you know what happens I like I said I just don't want to do anything I need to be weed wagon. I need to do this. I need to, you know, be pulling out my spring clothes. And it's like, ugh, it's just too much for my brain. Do you guys ever run into that where you just get, it's like, no, I don't want to do anything. Don't. And I still have to go, you know, get some flowers, plant them in my pots. And the list is endless. I just think it's endless. Oh, and I've taken my quilts to the laundromat and wash them in the big machines because they won't fit in my little washing machine because, you know, I have stackables. Um, they work all the time except two or three times a year when I need to wash my quilts. <laughs> oh, and I have to wash my summer blanket. Oh, well, poor me. Please feel sorry for me because I do. I mean, I really do. Hey, I thought I'd do an outfit for the day. This is what I wear on a daily basis. Just a shirt, leggings, and I am breaking in my new, I love these flip flops. Oh, I love them. So, that's what I look like every day. <laughs> I think I look thinner from this than this way, but you never know. Oh, I cut up my arm real bad. I just, uh, I got the weed whacker. Oh, well, that's my outfit for the day. Leggings, long shirt, 
and flip flops. I'm telling you, the list is endless. I got the weed whacker out and I need string. I'm not falling for that winding your own string ever again. I did that. Oh, and I forgot. I bought water, breakfast drink, and toilet paper. So I didn't show you that. There, see? Water, breakfast, and toilet paper. This is cheaper at Walmart just to buy how many of them? Uh, 12. It's cheaper to buy it this way. So, like I said, I'm not falling for string. Last year, I think I even did a put it on a video, is last year, there are two ways to buy string for your weed whacker. Just a spool that you take out and put in. And then you can wind your own. So I thought, oh, well, it can't be too hard to wind your own. Oh, my God. It was so hard. So, see, that's where I'm at. I need to clean. We finally used the popcorn maker. The kids loved it. They absolutely went insane. We made three bowls. <laughs> they just thought it was so cool. They go, oh, it's just like at the uh, theater. And in here, this is how much popcorn you put in. And then you put the butter in there and it melts it while it pops. And it's perfect. And the kids loved it. It's like a new toy. Oh, and I do. I need to mop. That's why that's out there. And then I need to recycle. Pots are clean. And this is my new coffee setup. <laughs> that's right. The Quasinart Coop. <laughs> I can't even say it. Cake up is back. And the old coffee pot. That's the latest around my house. <laughs> I can't believe I'm out of string. Oh well. Oh well. Oh, and then the battery this morning to my camera, I dropped in the sink full of water. Uh, if you ever do this, immediately dry it, shake it, and get the blow dryer out. Because that's what the camera is being powdered. Powder powered with right now. My pictures are crooked. Oh. Well, you know, I'd keep, I don't know. I may, this may be the end of the vlog. I don't know. Tonight is just um, chips with um, the barbecued um, beef, shredded beef sandwiches. Make my life simple. So I need to put the breakfast drinks away, put the water in the refrigerator, and probably go buy some <laughs> weed whacker string. It's like this plastic whatever. Oh, if it's not one thing I'm telling you, I'm getting mentally fatigued thinking about all this stuff. I've got to stop thinking. Oh, I think too much. Ah. I don't know if you guys know about these, but they're called Stoop Waffles. I am addicted to them. They are so cool. They're from the Netherlands. And they are soft toasted waffles filled with caramel, cinnamon, and real bourbon vanilla. And if you want, because they're round, you can put them on top of your coffee. Not in your coffee, but on top of it. And it will warm them up. Oh my God. If you've not tried soup waffles. <laughs> buy them. Honest. Buy them. Well, I've successfully sat here and stared. I um, just need a cup of coffee. So I think it's 4.30. So that's probably it for me. Yeah, what, just an exciting day around my house. Uh, <laughs> Hopefully in a couple days when I thought, okay, I won't be as boggled. But you never know. But I love you guys. You take care. Bye-bye.